Hi, this is Luke from Sleeping Giant Media, and I'm here on behalf of the Recruitment Network to cover off some questions related to some of the changes that are coming up within the recruitment sector within Google, but also look at some of the questions that this brings up around uh, delivering the work yourself and recruiting or using an SEO consultant for various different things. So, firstly, I'll say um, the first one of the questions the guys posed was, should you recruit somebody uh, to be, or should you recruit, should you, sorry, should you train someone to be able to implement the schema markup, which is going to be required for the new format of the jobs search that Google and release? And I actually would say no. I, th I think it's a kind of a one off change. I think you can make uh, some template changes, and ultimately, once you've done that, you can kind of move on. So, realistically, it's either an SEO consultant, but I would actually say probably most development agencies. Um, should be able to do that and, and kind of work through that and ultimately if they can't that's when you get an SEO person to essentially advise on how to kind of tag things up so that Google pulls in the right information within the new search feature assuming it comes out. So I think firstly um, you know it's a one-off thing and you don't need to worry about recruitment or um, essentially trying to train your guys to do it. They should be able to enter the data um, exactly how they have been before. I think the other broader question around recruiting versus um, employing a consultant, I think what, what I would always say here is um, you bring someone in at the point where actually it costs you too much money to try to do it yourself. And I did the same with finance when we were starting up the business. Um, it got to the point where I was running you know, our books and it was taking me four or five days across the month. And realistically, that's probably not where my strength lies. And we could, we could bring somebody in on a consultancy basis to do the books and it, you know, they could do in a day what took me two weeks. So, there's a way to kind of, uh, that's how I would make the decision around kind of SEO and sometimes it can be really uh, time consuming to run paid search, SEO and social um, and that time's taken away from potentially what you might be better at. So that's kind of the decision making process I would go through around when you sort of potentially bring somebody in. Um, I think on a recruitment level and trying to bring people in to do SEO, um, you know, absolutely fine, people do that, and that's, that's not a problem. The challenge that you'll find is that you've got, you either employ someone on a strategic level, generally quite expensive, and they don't really want to do the doing. The alternative is to recruit on a, an exec level and you get someone who's particularly very keen and they, you know, they, kind of, they can do social because they've kind of grown up with it. They're generally kind of a younger generation. Um, but ultimately, they don't necessarily know what to do with it. So I think that that's the trouble that you generally find when you're trying to recruit and build that team in-house. Um, and the final problem I think with in-house is actually the, the, the sort of tools that you need to, to actually buy in in order to deliver SEO performance. It's kind of, um, we, we spend about 35k a year on them, so you know, to, in order to actually do that the same level, you have to kind of invest in that sort of uh, those sort of that tool set to deliver it. Um, and I think what obviously what the point of an agency and, and where um, agencies try to work is to try to blend that. So you get the strategic input when you need it, you get the manager to manage the kind of the relationship and update uh, what's happening, and you get an exec to do. Um, inevitably some of the kind of the running around the grunt work that is required within digital marketing and you get a kind of a blended approach. So those are the pros and cons essentially of doing that. Um, and I would always always say having somebody in your business that's involved within the digital space to really power up the activity is really kind of valuable. So I hope that's kind of covered off some of the specific questions around obviously the changes within the job space um, directly, but also some of the broader questions around uh, the recruitment of digital uh, skills, whether that's in-house or, or using an agency. So best of luck with it and speak again soon.